Thanks for visiting Bella's Vistas. Please like and subscribe. Click the notification bell as well. Well, here I am in Glacier National Park. It's pretty nice here. I decided to talk about something that I've been thinking about for a really long time. Why am I still using my Olympus E5? Well, this is one reason right here. That's a 35 to 100 millimeter F2 lens. F2. So that's like 70 to 200 millimeter at F2. That's pretty fast. Pretty handy lens. Now in my bag, I've got a 7 to 14, that's a 14 to 35. Equivalent, very expensive lens as well. 150 millimeter F2, F2, 300 millimeter equivalent at F2. Stick a two times adapter on there, you've got a 600 millimeter F4 equivalent lens, very, very useful. I also have this here, which is equivalent to a 28 to 70 millimeter, also at F2. Very fast lenses. Now I know the sensor in here is old, and I've been doing a lot of math. I sat down and I downloaded all the specifics for a 4 thirds sensor of 17.3 by 13 millimeters. And come up with a determination that the resolution of the sensor as the horsepower of a Rolls Royce is adequate. So I've got all kinds of programs that I can interpolate the files bigger if I have to, and I have the advantage of an F2 lens. Now if I'm going to replace all this stuff, it's going to be very expensive. And then I ask myself, how big of a print can I make from this camera? And as you can see, I've made 30 by 40 prints on canvas, made lots of 16 by 20 prints, I've never had a problem getting big prints. The newest version of Photoshop also has a new way of upsizing your files without losing any quality. You can check with many tutorials in Photoshop about how to go about upsizing your files. It used to be like automatic or bicubic. Now there's a new way which gives you much better quality. So basically I've got a huge amount of money invested in some lenses. Now I would really like it if Olympus came out a new camera body like this one that had a bigger battery and longer usage and a lot of things like that. But I photograph birds, lots of wildlife. I've got a lot of photographs over the years with this system. And as I say, by using software, I can upsize the files quite a bit. And I've had really good success with that. I don't really see the need for updating right now at this point in time. I'd like to try some of the 61 megapixel cameras and see what they'll do. But as I say, I think that Olympus with these lenses will pretty well reach the limit that you can go. Perhaps we could get a better result with a better sensor. That would be nice to see. But lower noise, shooting at f2 instead of 2.8 or 3.5, that gives you a good result. And I'm sure I could get a 1.4 prime lens and I might get better results yet. That remains to be seen. I've done star trails at 1600 ISO with this camera and gotten good results. So uh, I'm going to stick with this thing for a little while yet. I've also shot big photographs of paintings, huge paintings, 8 by 10, 10 by 12 feet. And I've shot them in segments and put them together and come up with 1.2 gigabyte files that give me tremendous ability to make huge prints at a high rate of sharpness. So at the present time, I'm going to be using the Olympus E5. I'm hoping they might come out with something new. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to wind up scrapping these because things don't last forever. But in the meantime, this is what I'm going to be using. So come on back soon. Like and subscribe. Click the notification bell. Thanks for visiting Bella's Vistas.